What's going on guys, London's M207 here, hope you guys are doing well, enjoying your bikes. Although the weather isn't that great here in London lately, it shall become better. So today we're going to be discussing insurance, insurance cost. Now a lot of people have been asking me what is my insurance cost, uh, and I tell them and they end up telling me, oh wow, why is R1 more expensive, you know, our premiums are more than yours, etc. You have to remember guys that everyone has a different premium because it depends on your age, the bike you have, the license you hold, uh, where you live as well. So it does have a lot of variables. Uh, now just to tell you guys for viewers that do not know I do ride a 2016 Yamaha MT07 MT07 been riding it or well now it's my second year on the bike so I've had my first premium paid and my second one now we're gonna jump straight onto what I paid for the first year now for the first year it cost me £750, if I'm not mistaken. Now, for a lot of people, that's expensive. But personally, I think that's relatively cheap compared to, you know, what my mates are paying and people that I know are paying, which, you know, goes into the thousands. You know, I know someone that pays, you know, 1500 so for me to pay 750 I think it's pretty much a, uh, a bargain in my opinion. So as I said, I've been riding for two years. Is he going to let us through? Is he going to let us through? Yes he is. Thank you. As I take this line out. So yeah guys, as I was saying, I've been riding for two years now and uh, I've come to my second premium which I paid a couple of months ago which surprisingly came down to 420 pounds now that's a major major decrease in the premium compared to my first year of riding which has earned me one year's no claims bonus and I think that's played a big role in my premium decrease now do I think it's going to go down next year? Probably by a bit. But then again, I am planning to do my uh, my full license so I can get to ride a uh, you know bigger bike, thousand cc's plus, unrestricted because now I'm on the MT-07 and it is restricted, so I'm not getting the full potential out of the bike. So guys, just to summarize, I paid 750 pounds for my first year's premium second year I paid uh, 420 pounds so as you can see guys the price is going down gradually and hopefully by the time I get my uh, my A license I would have had you know at least at least at least you know three years no claims bonus and I can go from there and get a bigger bike. I've been looking at the, uh, uh, what's it called? The uh, Suzuki GSX, uh, the, uh, the naked version. So not the GXXR, but the GSX. I don't know if that's the, the proper name for it, but that's the bike I was looking at. So if you guys can recommend me some bikes, because I've still got probably a year to go before I look into getting a new bike. So in the meantime, I would love to do some, you know, some research and maybe you guys can recommend me some bikes that you think would uh, would be good, would be a good investment. And just to... Uh, oh, oh my gosh, he's squeezing me out, squeezing me out, squeezing me out. Come on, get in, come on. Move forward a bit, move forward a bit, move forward a bit. There we go. So guys, if you can uh, 
tell me what you guys are paying down below you know what are your premiums like I'm trying to get a better understanding of what you guys pay and I can compare it and see you know whether I'm actually getting a bargain up my insurance premium or not you know if someone turns around and tells me they're paying a hundred pound a year or something I'll be a bit uh, be a bit pissed off but again again as I said it does depend on individual circumstances so I wouldn't be surprised at all so guys it's been a pleasure talking to you guys please don't forget to leave us a thumbs up down down below if you guys dislike the video then leave a dislike down down below thumbs down so until next time guys bye bye